Hello, my name is Martin and this is 3D Printing Iceland. In this video I'm going to have a look at some prints of fruits and vegetables I did. So let's have a look after the intro. So before I start I want to show you those dyno models, low poly dynos by Joe, the 3D printing professor. I have them here printed out and I love those models and I printed out two big dinos and, and a nest and a few eggs and all the eggs have a small dino inside. So it's like a dino baby <laughs> inside of the each egg. So it's great fun and, and awesome models and, and I was just finishing printing those two big dinos with the eggs. So they are good, good fun. <laughs> and but what I have in front of me is a garden of <laughs> fruits and vegetables. I started out with printing a banana. Um, I was looking for a banana print to have a banana for scale, <laughs> to measure out things, just to have fun. Uh, it has been some comments on videos. If you're going to measure something, you should do it in millimeters, not inches, and do scientific. And it's not scientific if it's not in millimeters. <laughs> um, I decided to have a banana for scale. But while I was looking for a banana model, I, I found a user on Thingiverse that I'm going to link to in the video description that has a like a 3D scan of all kinds of fruits and vegetables. So I found out that that link had a, quite a lot of fun models. Um, this one I, I printed. This is a potato. Um, my son is always joking about uh, potatoes, uh, so I printed out a potato to give him, and um, then I found some several others, and I have a apple and an orange, and I printed this. This is like a uh, very detailed model, and all the scans are, are quite detailed, but this one has a small flat side on the back. This is the only model that is uh, has a flat side. Others needed supports to be printed. Um, the, the bottom side was having the supports because the model was uh, tilted, but uh, the prints came out pretty good. And I printed all those prints in AIO Robotics PLA um, with all the colors from the 12 color pack. It's an awesome selection of colors. Um, here's, a, I think, a dragon fruit and a piece of corn, um, cucumber. Uh, garlic, um, mushroom, and, and pear, um, some peppers, and, 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 and yeah, paprika, I think this one is, um, a tomato, um, and uh, apple, and a uh, carrot, um, those AI robotics colors are pretty nice, the, the orange is probably my favorite. It's very dark, uh, rich orange color. So for a carrot or this orange, it's really orange, orange, <laughs> so to speak. But th those are the models I, I printed out. And what I'm gonna do is to give my wife this. She's gonna take it to her preschool. She is, is a preschool teacher and she needed some props for the kitchen, for the kids. And they have a, like a small miniature kitchen setup, but not enough. Uh, like food <laughs> toys <laughs> so i decided to print the rest for her um, starting with the banana I'll, I'll probably give her the banana as well but print one of my own <laughs> to have a banana for scale that was the first purpose of this fruits and vegetable printings um, I, I was thinking if, if i would want to show those prints off at, at mer for earth I would have to pack them up and when you go to customs, when you fly into the States, you are always asked if you have any fruits and vegetables on board with you. Um, I don't know if, if it will be taken lightly if I answer yes and then just have a <laughs> plastic version of fruits and vegetables. But the, the customs are not happy about <laughs> having to, to get people that are bringing in fruits and vegetables from foreign con countries. But it could be a funny joke, but I, I'm not sure if the customs guys are the right people to make fun with. <laughs> they will probably just throw me in jail, <laughs> send me to Guatemala Bay or something. But So I, I will bring those to the States with me <laughs> for sample prints. I'll, I'll probably just bring my landscapes. They are more <laughs> aesthetic, I think. 
But this is just gonna be a short video on those prints. I, I want to just show you what I've done with the AO Robotics PLA. It's PLA from them prints really well and I don't have any special issues. I, I did a f filament review with her filament quite some time ago and, and, and you can have a look at that on my, on my channel if you want to. But I, I really love those selection of colors and it's a good filament to print with. So you can have a look at those filaments if, if you want to. But this will be it for this video. I hope you like this video and, and please give it a thumbs up or a thumbs down if you don't like it and, and leave a comment and, and share and subscribe and all that. So for now I, I thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one.